Hi, Ray here. I'm glad you could join me today for a video looking at this Strobe Pro Ultimate Wheeled Bag. So this isn't a sponsored video and I have no relationship with Strobe Pro other than the fact that I bought a number of their items. They are a small company uh, based in Canada, in uh, Calgary, Alberta. And they're also a distributor for Godox in Canada. So they're a great little company to deal with. Uh, my experiences with them have been very good. I did mention them because I had some of their, some of their products in my studio overhead rig video and uh, I'll link that up here. Yeah, great little company. Just a plug for them because they're nice guys. Now I'd been looking for a bag to carry my, mostly my video gear. And in particular, I wanted something that would fit my video rig without having to fully dismantle it. So I looked around for a long time, actually probably about six months, and I looked at various uh, roller bags because the roller part is very important because this, this amount of gear, there's no way I'm carrying it on my back. And I also wanted something that I could work with like right out the back of the car. I have a station wagon, so, so yeah, something that I could open up and if I'm working right out of the back of the car that it would work well. So I looked at some hard cases, uh, which are very expensive. And expense was a big part of my decision here why I ended up deciding on this Strobe Pro bag because the price is very good. And in fact, uh, <laughs> I actually owe this to my wife, Amanda, who gifted it to me as a Christmas present. Thank you very much, dear. <laughs> it was a great choice. I, I, I did drop a few hints. So she, she's really good at picking up on hints. And so this uh, was in my, well, it didn't quite fit in my Christmas stocking, but this turned up on Christmas day. And first thing I wanna mention as I open it is these are YK, YKK zippers which uh, back in the days when I was uh, marketing climbing equipment, backpacks and so on, uh, clothing for outdoors, YKK zippers were absolutely necessary. And I always uh, use that to help sell a product saying, and it has YKK zippers because they really are bomb proof. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the inside of here. As I said, what I wanted, uh, one of the big reasons that I wanted something of this size uh, is so that I could pretty much fit my video rig without dismantling it too much. And it fits in there just beautifully, as well as lenses. Um, I might as well talk about dividers here. So it comes with a, a pretty good selection of dividers. The one thing that I would say, I'd like to see a few more smaller dividers available. And I've, I've actually taken some dividers out of an, another bag. And uh, so, I'm probably going to make, or, or maybe, <laughs> maybe my wife will help me here, as she has in the past, in making some extra dividers. Uh, because particularly when it comes to the, the compartments or slots or whatever, uh, for lenses, then you want those extra dividers. Also, as you can see here, we've got some compartments here on the back. And they're very nice. However, I would have liked to have seen these divided up smaller because say I'm going for this tool down in here. As you can see, <laughs> it's kind of difficult. Also, we have some straps here. So I don't know, you could throw an umbrella or something in there. And these straps here, I'm, the only hassle with these straps here is that you've got to make sure that they're folded in. Otherwise, they'll catch in the zipper. But it's a very, very nicely built bag. Super tough. On the corners, we have bumpers. Lots of bumpers. I should say that this strap, very nicely reinforced here. We have bumpers on the sides. We have polyurethane wheels, and I must say, they look to be very sturdy. They're recessed. And they run very nicely, even on uneven surfaces. And the only, I mean, if, if we were going to carry this for a huge amount of distance and we had lots of other gear, then probably we want some kind of a cart. But otherwise, what I've seen so far is these polyurethane wheels work very well. There's also here 
uh, a handle and there's a handle the same on the other end obviously for pulling it there's a bumper here which is very nice and underneath there are skids and here I forgot there's a plastic pull handle here for hauling it out from that direction I guess and of course these these bumper stands here oh and on the top here is a nice little business card holder uh, so you can slide your business card in there okay so this is what they call the ultimate roller bag medium there's a larger one that's about probably I would say a third again as long so if you need to carry long stands and so on um, that would be that would be a good thing so this one here measures about well just under 80 centimeters or 31 inches in length about um, 16 inches wide or 40 centimeters uh, these are outside measurements of course and then it's about um, 30 centimeters well if we if we go right up to the top here yeah let's say about uh, uh, 32 centimeters or just over a foot say not uh, not quite 13 inches on the inside and this was important for me because as I said I wanted to be able to drop my my video rig right in there with the handle on preferably so the inside here is about say let's say ten and a half inches and there's also something that I didn't bring along on this trip there's also a cushion divider it's not really a divider but a cushion that goes on the top here as well that you can put in and then you can put stands if you've got some very short stands or maybe a short tripod uh, it actually does fit my uh, shorter tripod I can actually fit it in here if I make if I rearrange the dividers fits in le in lengthways so yeah it's it's very commodious <laughs> I have to say and yeah as a you know I have a very few complaints I don't I don't necessarily think these are absolutely necessary I find that I don't really use them too much I usually use the end handles um, so really those those are kind of superfluous for my needs uh, as I said these dividers they could be divided <laughs> I think yeah you could put another uh, zipper here so you can have small things here and larger things here um, because yeah like say I wanted to say I needed a, a spare battery right now it's definitely awkward and it puts a lot of pressure on there so yeah I, I don't think I will carry batteries like this I think that I'm gonna I have actually have some bags for my batteries that I'm going to use but I just threw these in here oh and one thing <clears throat> that I almost forgot is I've got it divided up here right now and here's a 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro that slides right in there very nicely so yeah just uh, again to sum up uh, on the interior I would like to see more dividers available other than that as I say I'll probably or my wife will probably make some for me so it's a very nice bag and I'm quite happy with it. Lastly, some of you might recognize this location because this is where I sat last March, 10 months ago, contemplating my future <laughs> as a YouTuber. And I was seriously considering quitting. Well, I guess I'm still here, still shooting, still making these videos for you and having a good time doing it. So, Will I be here in another year? Well, you know, that's up to uh, the fates. But I especially love coming to locations like this. And this is what was behind, really behind getting this bag, or <laughs> shall we say, hinting to get this bag. And so this bag is really going to be a great help for me and my <laughs> trusty assistant when we're out on location like this and hopefully soon further afield. Because as you can see, it's, uh, as I said, quite commodious. It, it, it's actually really perfect for carrying lights and uh, occasionally I need to carry location lights. This is going to be perfect. And so you'll probably, you'll probably see it around in future videos. So if you found this video interesting, please do give it the old thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, why don't you do that right now? Hit that notification bell to be alerted to my future content. In the meantime, take care of yourselves, cheers, and we'll see you later.